Anesthesiologist, Wikipedia article audio. An anesthesiologist or anesthetist is a physician trained in anesthesia and perioperative medicine. The title of the role varies between countries. In countries following the practice of North America, those specializing in the field are termed anesthesiologists, but in the United Kingdom and current or former member countries of the Commonwealth of Nations, such providers use the title anesthetist instead. Patient Informed Consent Selection and Training The length and format of anesthesia training programs varies from country to country, but can range from 4 to 10 years. For physicians, a 3 to 4 year residency is required on top of initial medical school training to be awarded a medical degree. Anesthesiologists in training spend this time gaining experience in various different subspecialties of anesthesiology and undertake various advanced postgraduate examinations and skill assessments. These lead to the award of a specialist qualification at the end of their training indicating that they are an expert in the field and may be licensed to practice independently. Healthcare professionals like anesthesia assistants and dentists also provide anesthesia services, but they have other titles and a variable scope of practice. Anesthesiologists provide medical care to patients in many different ways. During preoperative evaluation, in consultation with the surgical team, they create an anesthetic plan tailored for each individual patient taking into consideration the patient's medical history and the type of surgical procedure planned. This may include invasive monitoring, neuraxial nerve blocks, peripheral nerve blocks, and slash or various levels of sedation including reversible unconsciousness known as general anesthesia. Anesthesiologists are acute care specialists and as such often provide intensive care techniques as they are the experts of airway management, intraoperative life support and provision of pain control, intraoperative diagnostic stabilization, and proper postoperative management of patients. An anesthesiologist's scope of practice also involves in-hospital and pre-hospital emergencies work within intensive care units, acute pain units, and chronic pain consultations. Patient-informed consent is a medical principle stating that patients should be fully informed about the manner in which anesthesia will be administered to them. It is a fundamental ethical and legal principle and is considered essential for the patient autonomy. The American Society of Anesthesiologists and the American Osteopathic Board of Anesthesiology support this principle. In Germany, the law requires that prior to anesthesia, informed consent of the patient must be obtained by the anesthetist. Due to medications given before, during, and after a surgery, a patient may sometimes not remember interactions with the anesthetist involved in his anesthesia care. The anesthetic plan, as well as alternatives, risks, and benefits of the chosen anesthetic techniques, should be discussed with the patient prior to the surgery. This can be difficult or impossible in some situations such as with unconscious patients, confused patients, or extremely urgent cases. Selection and training process is similar in various countries. Argentina In Argentina, anesthetists are physicians who have specialized in the medical field of anesthesia. Residency program is five years long. In Australia and New Zealand, Anesthetists are medical practitioners who have undertaken specialist training in the medical field of anesthesia. They are represented by the Australian Society of Anesthetists and the New Zealand Society of Anesthetists. Australia and New Zealand Training is supervised by the Australian and New Zealand College of Anesthetists. 
The ONSCA approved training course encompasses an initial two year long pre vocational medical education and training and three years of advanced training. Thus, the total training is five years long. In the course, Trainees are required to successfully complete five years of supervised clinical training at approved training sites and pass both the primary and final examinations which consist of both written and, if successful in the written exams, oral examinations. In the final written examination, there are many questions of clinical scenarios. There are also two cases of real patients with complex medical conditions, for clinical examination and a following discussion. The course has a program of 12 modules such as obstetric anesthesia, pediatric anesthesia, cardiothoracic and vascular anesthesia, neurosurgical anesthesia, and pain management. Trainees also have to complete an advanced project such as a research publication or paper. They also undergo an EMAC or EMST course. On completion of training, the trainees are awarded the Diploma of Fellowship and are entitled to use the qualification of Fanska Fellow of the Australian and New Zealand College of Anesthetists. In Brazil, the anesthetists are physicians who have specialized in the field of anesthesia. Approximately 650 physicians are admitted yearly to a three-year specialization program. The residency programs can take place at training centers in university hospitals. These training centers are accredited by the Brazilian Society of Anesthesiology, or other referral hospitals accredited by the Ministry of Health. Most of the residents are trained in different areas, including ICU, pain management and anesthesia subspecialties, including transplants and pediatrics. In order to be a certified anesthetist in Brazil, the residents must give exams throughout the residency program and at the end of the program. The SBA conducts these examinations. In order to be an instructor of a residency program certified by the SBA, the anesthetists must have the superior title in anesthesia, in which the specialist undergoes a multiple choice test followed by an oral examination conducted by a board assigned by the National Society. Brazil In Canada anesthesiologists are physicians who have specialized in the medical field of anesthesiology. Training is supervised by 17 universities approved by the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada. Upon completion of a residency program, the candidate is required to pass a comprehensive objective examination consisting of a written component and an oral component. The examination of a patient is not required. Upon completion of training, the anesthesia graduate is then entitled to become a Fellow of the Royal College of Physicians of Canada and to use the post-nominal letters FRCPC. Canada In Germany, anesthetists are the only anesthesia providers as German law does not allow anyone but a physician to practice medicine. It is called a physician-centered medicine. Germany after earning the right to practice medicine, German physicians who want to become anesthetists must undergo five years of training, consisting of anesthesia, ECG and pulmonary function testing, critical care and pain medicine, and also palliative care medicine. The training includes rotations serving in the operation theaters to perform anesthesia on a variety of patients being treated by various surgical subspecialties, followed by a rotation through various intensive care units. Many German anesthetists choose to complete a curriculum in emergency medicine, which once completed, enables them to be referred to as notert an emergency physician working preclinically with the emergency medical service. In preclinical settings the emergency physician is assisted by paramedics. In the Netherlands, 
anesthetists are physicians who have specialized in the medical field of anesthesia. Anesthetists in the Netherlands must complete medical school training, which takes six years. After successfully completing medical school training, they start a five-year residency training in anesthesia. In their fifth year they can choose to spend the year doing research, or to specialize in a certain area, including regular anesthesia, critical care medicine, pain and palliative medicine, pediatric anesthesia, cardiothoracic anesthesia, neuroanesthesia or obstetric anesthesia. Netherlands In Guatemala, anesthetists are physicians who have specialized in the medical field of anesthesia. For this, a student with a medical degree has to complete a residency of six years. After residency, students take a board examination conducted by the College of Medicine of Guatemala, the Universidad de San Carlos de Guatemala, and a chief physician who represents the health care ministry of the government of Guatemala. The examination includes a written section, an oral section, and a special examination of skills and knowledge relating to anesthetic instruments, emergency treatment, preoperative care, postoperative care, intensive care units, and pain medicine. After passing the examination, the College of Medicine of Guatemala, Universidad de San Carlos de Guatemala and the Health Care Ministry of the Government of Guatemala grants the candidate a special license to practice anesthesia as well as a diploma issued by the Universidad de San Carlos de Guatemala granting the degree of physician with specialization in anesthesia. Anesthetists in Guatemala are also subject to yearly examinations and mandatory participation in yearly seminars on the latest developments in anesthetic practice. In Hong Kong, anesthesiologists are physicians who have specialized in the medical field of anesthesiology. To be qualified as an anesthesiologist in Hong Kong, Medical practitioners must undergo a minimum of six years of postgraduate training and pass three professional examinations. Upon completion of training, the Fellowship of Hong Kong College of Anesthesiologists and subsequently the Fellowship of Hong Kong Academy of Medicine is awarded. Practicing anesthesiologists are required to register in the Specialist Register of the Medical Council of Hong Kong and hence are under the regulation of the Medical Council. In Italy the term anesthesiologist intensive care doctor refers to a physician who, after completion of 6.5 years of medical school training, has completed an accredited four-year residency in anesthesiology. Such doctors work in operation theaters, ICUs, PACUs, pain control units, hyperbaric units, emergency rooms, etc. In Denmark, Finland, Iceland, Norway, and Sweden, anesthesiologists' training is supervised by the respective national societies of anesthesiology as well as the Scandinavian Society of Anesthesiology and Intensive Care Medicine. In Scandinavia, anesthesiology is the medical specialty that is engaged in the fields of anesthesia, intensive care medicine, pain control medicine, pre-hospital and in-hospital emergency medicine. Anesthesiologist in the Scandinavian countries is a doctor who has completed a six-year undergraduate training program, a 12-month internship, and a five-year residency program. SSAI currently hosts five training programs for anesthesiologists in Scandinavia. These are intensive care, pediatric anesthesiology and intensive care, advanced pain medicine, critical care medicine, and advanced obstetric anesthesiology. Guatemala In England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, training is supervised by the Royal College of Anesthetists. 
Anesthetists in the United Kingdom are physicians who have completed either a five-year or six-year undergraduate medical school training program or a four-year medical school program open only for postgraduates. Hong Kong Following the completion of medical school training, physicians enter a two-year foundation program which consists of at least six four-month rotations in various medical specialties. It is mandatory for all physicians to complete a minimum of three months of general medicine and general surgery training during this time. Following the foundation program, physicians compete for specialist training. The training program in the United Kingdom currently consists of two years of core training and five years of higher training. Also. Before the end of core training, all trainees must have passed the primary examination for the Diploma of Fellowship of the Royal College of Anesthetists. Trainees wishing to hold dual accreditation in anesthesia and intensive care medicine may enter anesthesia training via the Acute Care Common STEM program which lasts three years and consists of experience in anesthesia, emergency medicine, acute medicine, and intensive care. Trainees in anesthesia are called specialty registrars or specialist registrars. The certificate of completion of training in anesthesia is divided into three levels, basic, intermediate, and advanced. During this time, physicians learn anesthesia as applicable to all surgical specialties. The curriculum focuses on a modular format, with trainees primarily working in one special area during one module, for example, cardiac anesthesia, neuroanesthesia, and maxillofacial, pain medicine, intensive care, and trauma. Traditionally, trainees entered anesthesia from other specialties, such as medicine or accidents and emergencies. Specialist training takes at least seven years. On completion of specialist training, Physicians are awarded CCT and are eligible for entry on the GMC Specialist Register and are also able to work as consultant anesthetist. A new consultant in anesthetics must have completed a minimum of 14 years of training. Those wishing for dual accreditation are required to undergo an additional year of training and also complete the Diploma in Intensive Care Medicine. Pain specialists give the fellowship of the Faculty of Pain Medicine of the Royal College of Anesthetists examination. In the United States, anesthesiologists are physicians, who have chosen to specialize in anesthesiology and are extensively trained. Physician anesthesiologists in the United States must have completed an undergraduate college program and four years of medical school training. Anesthesiology residency programs in the United States require successful completion of four years of residency training for board certification eligibility in the specialty of anesthesiology. An anesthesiology residency requires a one-year medicine or surgery internship followed by three years of anesthesiology training. Anesthesiology residents face multiple examinations during their residency including exams encompassing physiology, pathophysiology, pharmacology, and other medical sciences addressed in medical school, along with multiple anesthesia knowledge tests which assess progress during residency. Successful completion of a board exam after completion of residency is required for board certification. Italy Scandinavia United Kingdom United States Physician anesthesiology residency training in the U.S. encompasses the full scope of perioperative medicine, including preoperative medical evaluation, management of pre-existing disease in the surgical patient, intraoperative life support, intraoperative pain control, postoperative recovery, intensive care medicine, and chronic and acute pain management. 
After residency, many anesthesiologists complete an additional fellowship year of subspecialty training in areas such as pain management, sleep medicine, cardiothoracic anesthesiology, pediatric anesthesiology, neuroanesthesiology, regional anesthesiology slash ambulatory anesthesiology, obstetric anesthesiology, or critical care medicine. The average salary for a full-time anesthesiologist is roughly $258,100, according to U.S. News. The number of jobs are rounding to about 170,400 according to statistics in 2014. The majority of anesthesiologists in the United States are board-certified, either by the American Board of Anesthesiology or the American Osteopathic Board of Anesthesiology. DO anesthesiologists can be certified by the ABBA. The ABBA is a member of the American Board of Medical Specialties, while the AOBA falls under the American Osteopathic Association. Both boards are recognized by the major insurance underwriters in the U.S. as well as by all branches of the U.S. Uniformed Services. Board certification by the ABBA involves both a written and an oral examination. AOBA certification requires the same exams, in addition to a practical examination with examining physicians observing the applicant actually administering anesthetics in the operating room.